Christmas. I'm so excited and thank you for joining us on Christmas Day and all Christmas week long. Today marks not only Christmas Day, the coming of the Messiah, but also the fourth week of Advent, which focuses on love. And if you've been following us on our Advent series on TV or at seeherelove.com, you'll know that the hoping and waiting and expecting was all about today. And we celebrate God's love and the birth and life of his son, Jesus. And today's show is a very, very special one. I'm your host, Melinda, and I'm joined by my two beautiful co-hosts, Cheryl. Merry right Christmas. Merry Christmas, Cheryl. I know, I'm so excited. so excited. And Kimberly, oh. all the way from Nashville. I know, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yes, it's so good to have you girls here. But look who we also have around the table. Got some, yeah. got some we got some yeah. handsome yeah. men yeah. here joining us on Christmas Day. And before I get to them, I do want to say, though, that I'm excited that you two are here because you two are great singers, and that's going to take us a long way this Ooh. show. It's a little teaser, uh -huh. you guys, for what's coming. Hmm. We're going to have a little bit of a sing-along, a Christmas sing-along. But you're going to sing the whole yeah. show. But before we do that, I want to introduce our very special guests, male guests, musical Woo! guests, Mark Masri and Kevin Paul. Yay! Let's guess a bit. Mark Masri is a multi-album GMA Covenant Award-winning artist who has performed with David Foster, John Cicada, and Olivia Newton-John. And Kevin Pauls is also a multi-album award-winning artist who has shared the stage with the Gaithers, Michael English, and Stephen Curtis Chapman, mm -hmm. they're here to just talk, obviously not sing, because we're just going to do that. Yeah. But I want to welcome right. you all <laughs> to Christmas. Aww. Welcome. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank Christmas. You. It's today. These are Thank two you. of my faves. This yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I can't tell you what I call them, because, you know. I know. It's <laughs> private. I know. But I love it. We'll so talk great. Later. We'll so talk much later. energy and love, and especially yes. on Christmas Day, where we know the world yeah. is watching. Mm -hmm. So oh, I'm so man. excited. We are going to be lighting the Advent candles a little later. We're going to sing. But I wanted to talk about Christmas and the coming of Jesus and ask some questions to my friends on mm -hmm. Christmas Day about this actual day, about Jesus himself. So let's just kick it off. Why did Jesus mm -hmm. come to us? We've been waiting and expecting for the Messiah to come for today. Why did he come to us? What are your thoughts? Hmm. What made him come as a baby in a stinky manger to us? He, what are some thoughts? He wanted to. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, sometimes we, we make know. this some huge theological, he, he made us, he created, he wanted to experience and actually, yeah. Jesus was God's show and tell. Yeah. So I'm going to go yeah. down, I'm going to hang out with them, I'm going to yeah. show them what I've been yeah. talking about for years. He just, he wanted to be here to be part of us. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And you know, when I think about it, it, it it's, it's this beautiful thing on the table. It was love. love. Mm -hmm. You know, it was love that made him yeah. come as a baby. It was love that uh, made him go on the cross for us. It was love. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, he, he wants a relationship with us that goes far beyond yeah. this life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, and to ensure that he uh, endured the cross, mm. and uh, it was love that kept him there. He, he could have come down. He could have called angels. He could have stopped the whole show, but he stayed there for love. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I think yeah. to model yeah. humility too. That's the other thing that stands mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. to me about, about Christmas and the way he came. Um, to go to what you just said, Cheryl, he could have like stopped heaven and earth. It Absolutely. could have been in grandeur and mm. splendor and yes. all of the pomp yeah. and circumstance, but no, he came in a lowly manger, laid in the hay that he created, <laughs> laid, you know, the, yeah. the box or the manger or whatever it was that he that, yeah. that was constructed for him to lie in, he made yeah. the, the trees that, that, mm -hmm. that made that very manger. So it was to model humility for us because there's a lot of beauty and power that comes out of humility. Mm -hmm. I think in a society, in a day, and in, you know, in, in this life, it's... There's a lot of pressure, a lot of focus, attention put on what we can do for ourselves and pride and strength. Mm -hmm. But there's something beautiful and empowering that comes yeah. in humility. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Just yeah. laying yourself so aside. Good. So. Absolutely. Kimberly, you. Yeah, just the loving thing, yeah. right? Like mm -hmm. how remarkable and outrageous is that, that he would come and yeah. love on us. I, I, I can't, sometimes it's just hard to grasp until you got your, your own kids and you go, I love you, you stinker. Exactly. And like, you know, so I kind of get like, he just, and like you said, Mark, like just the way he came so that he's just so approachable for all of us. Mm -hmm. Like when you yeah. love us like that, like on like our, our own stinky level, right? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. huh, that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. You know, I agree with Kim. And I think this is something that sort of like was downloaded to me because mm -hmm. I think being a new stepmom mm. and the challenges that come with parenting, <laughs> <clears throat> it's been new for me. and the love that these kids pull out of me and yes. the pain that they bring and yet this weird love mm -hmm. even when they make bad decisions you love them 
I honestly, I think I got it for the first time this Christmas, that Jesus coming was big. Mm -hmm. I mean, he chose to be with us in relationship. Mm -hmm. All of the yucky, bad, bad decisions, rejection, he chose to do that. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and here's the thing, mm -hmm. death, three days on the cross, and that was brutal. And yeah. I talked to yeah. Kevin about this before. Yes. Yeah. But 30 plus years living with people, yeah. choosing that, yeah. now that's love. Yeah. Because and, I think about that. And then rejecting you over yeah, and over. That's yes. hard, right? So right. I think yeah. about that saying, he chose to love and leave heaven and come to a stinky barn and be with us. And I've had tears about it, just thinking, well, that's amazing love, yeah. to choose yeah. to be with us. And his choice to identify with the human condition. Yes. He wanted yes. to feel it for himself. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like he had created us, but he wanted to say, you know, I, I love you enough that I'm gonna come down and put your skin on, yes. and I'm gonna mm -hmm. feel your emotions, deal with the yeah. stuff you deal with, so yeah. that you know that I really yeah. connect with you, I really relate yeah, to you, and I, I wanna be, your savior, I want to help pull you out of this and, and, and pull you through it. And that's what the Bible says. He says that he was acquainted with our grief, yeah. our, our grief, yeah. our yes. pain, our loss, yeah. everything. Yeah. Yes. Wow, it's big. It is so it's big. huge. So he, we were talking about love and that, you know, why he came was because he loved us enough. Yeah. He loved us to be, be with us. Yeah. Um, knowing that, and for all of us, we are followers of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, we do the work, we sing the songs. Why do you love him? He loves us, mm. but why do you individually say, okay, yeah, I follow Jesus? Why is Christmas so mm. significant for you? What would you say? He actually made, it, he actually made a difference. Mm. It, when, I, when I look through my life or when I look through the struggles, I, I, can, I can come up with great doctrine and great theologies yeah. of, of who Jesus is and, and what his sacrifice meant for us. But I can tell you, it's, it's actually just made a difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a young kid walking home from school, uh, I, I felt God placing things in my heart and teaching me and walking with me and becoming real to me. And He's done that throughout my life. So I can, I can pontificate about why I, I, I love to serve Him. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, He's just made a difference. <laughs> when everything else doesn't make sense, I look up and I go, somehow I know that Jesus loves me. Mm -hmm. And somehow mm -hmm. that has completely transformed yeah. the way I look at the world. And it's helped me love my wife, Ooh. love my kids, mm -hmm. so love good. my new grandbaby. Yeah. I look through a different lens because of who yeah. he is. I, 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 I got to piggyback on that because um, when I think about Christmas and, and that question, it just hits me so hard. Why do I love him? You know, um, like how much time do you have, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But when I think about it for those that are watching especially, I'll say this, it's hope. Mm. Jesus gave me hope mm -hmm. uh, in a very hopeless world, in a very dark world, a cold, cruel, sometimes empty world. Yeah. And I can only imagine that I wasn't the only one that had that experience mm -hmm. and, and that there are people watching that are having that experience right now. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that His coming into my life gave me hope when I had none, pulled me out of darkness into his marvelous light. I went from suicidal on the street, uh, broken, hurting, uh, wounded, to being filled with hope and joy. And, and you know, this, it, it moved from being a story, my last thing, uh, and that sort of fairy tale. It felt, you know, the story of Jesus and the birth and the Mary. For some people, it feels like a fairy tale, sort of extended mm -hmm. far off. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you would just reach for him, he just draws near, the yeah, Bible says, does. and it becomes so real. Mm -hmm. He came to give me abundant life. That's where the story became living. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it lived in me, and now I live this abundant life of hope. It's and good. that's mm -hmm. what I want to share for someone mm -hmm. today. Good. Yeah. What are your thoughts? I, 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 for me, I think it's, I mean, it's, I resonate with, uh -huh. with what you said, Kim, yeah. what you've said, Cheryl. It, it's all so good. And I think all of us can identify mm -hmm. for any mm -hmm. number of reasons to each other's what we're going to share. But for me, it's been a sense of purpose. And mm -hmm. I think in life, you go through life looking for purpose. Mm -hmm. And why am I here? And, 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 and because of all that he's done for me mm -hmm. and, and that, that undeniable sense of his love and, and desire to do something in and through me, I think that's, that's one of the indicators that I know yeah. he loves me, that I know he's there, mm -hmm. that, that, um, that, that spurs me on to want to, you know, live a life that's, that, that, that means something for him. And, yeah. and that whole idea of being brought out of a sense of hopelessness into, yeah. into, into, you know, a place of hope is, I think everybody is looking for hope. I think yes. everyone's looking yes. for purpose. Yeah. And that's certainly been, you know, that's, I mean, that's just one of the things that comes to mind yeah. for me, mm -hmm. for sure. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to say, I just do. 
<laughs> but like I grew up in it. I'm a preacher's kid. You know, you hear about it. You can hear about it your whole life. But then there are those special moments when God just shows up for you. And my parents were always so great. They're like, you don't get in on our coattails, honey. You know, you've got to mm -hmm. figure this out for yourself. Mm -hmm. Do you love him? Do you know him? And you know, um, I've just watched it change people's lives. Mm -hmm. I've watched people walk away, and I've watched people be radically changed. And I've been through some really dark, hard, hard things. Mm -hmm. And when you just know you're not in that ever alone, and that His grace, and His mercy, and His love, His love, His love, just because we're here and breathing, not for anything that we do, any song that we sing, any stage that we're on, but hey, honey, I just love you. Mm -hmm. That has radically changed my life in very private, dark, dark, deep pit moments of life. And I just know that I know that I know who He is, and that is with me every single step, Beautiful. every That's moment. So Beautiful. You know, I think for me, um, when I think of why I love Jesus, I think considering my the beginning mm -hmm. when I was orphaned, and literally seeing God the Father <clears throat> love me to be adopted and then to give me opportunity to share his story within my story. The, you know, the love of a father who remembers the young girl who gave me up mm -hmm. and then we were able to love her back years later. I mean, it, you know, a lot of people go, well, that must be chance or coincidence. No. no. I believe bigger that that was God's hand of loving people all across mm -hmm. the world yeah. and ensuring that they know that he's pursuing and relentlessly pursuing yeah. them. And their lives, and yeah. so I, that, I love him. I mean, yeah. there's so many examples mm. and miracles in my own life, but that's one. Yeah. He's the savior Beautiful. of the underdog. Yes, yeah. yes. You know, yeah. And we are all oh. underdogs, <laughs> yes. whether yes. we admit it or not. Yes. So true. Yeah. But there's a reason stories of underdog resonate with the world. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a God yeah. story. Uh, when you have a, you know, a person that is an underdog and they triumph. There's a God hole in us that just mm -hmm. resonates with us because yes. that's who Jesus is. Yeah. He is the savior and yeah. the rescuer of us yeah. underdogs. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, because yeah. 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 I needed him yeah, to be exactly. my rescuer so do. often, yeah. right? Exactly. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. When we look at the, the life of Jesus, um, you know, we, he's born, he lives, and then he dies for us. What do we learn? When you think of Jesus mm -hmm. and his life, where are those moments in his story where you're like, that is such love that connects with me or connects with the world. What is it that he did and has done that, that showed great love when you look at his life? Well, I know there's nothing in my own story, there's nothing that I have ever been able to do that was good enough or worthy of a love so great. Mm -hmm. And so I think for me, um, I think where I would, I would assume that most people could connect is that we're, we're always trying to live up to a standard. We're always mm -hmm. trying to do better. We're trying to, and so many sort of uh, faith teachings perhaps are centered around performance and, and sort of an earned salvation, if you will, mm -hmm. or striving towards a, a, you know, mm -hmm. a, a better way of living. And this is a freely given <laughs> gift. It's, yeah. it's undeserved. Yeah. It's not based on my performance because yes. Lord knows I'd fail horribly mm -hmm. time and time again. But it's that grace you talked, uh, yeah. the, the grace mm -hmm. you talked about, yeah. Kim, and the mercy that's new every morning yeah. and it's just it's a it's a gift that's handed to you you know each and every day if you just reach out and receive yeah. it and I think I think we're all it doesn't matter what stripe what color what economic yeah. socio yeah. class whatever we're all looking for that yes. unmerited grace favor unconditional love yeah. you know that which that, he, which he given. gives yeah. and offers actively every day yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, over and over again. Yeah. He's yeah, through every he's mistake, un, through every screw yeah. up, through whatever, you know, yeah. he's there. He's there. Yeah. He's standing in front of the Pharisees and a bunch of this pub, these public people mm. and this woman who is yeah. being um, told of all of her mm -hmm. sins yeah. thrown in front. And, and we as Christians throughout mm -hmm. the world have a bit of a bad rap as, as judges and as mm -hmm. accusers. Mm -hmm. yeah. And here is the creator of everyone. Here is our savior yeah. standing there with this woman yeah. who he could have whatever he wanted to do. He yeah. simply said, mm -hmm. who accuses you? You have the first stone. Yeah. And he, yeah. he exemplified <laughs> what grace yeah. and mercy love and love is. Yes. And that 
blows my mind. Yeah. Because yeah. that's Absolutely. what he does for me yeah. every single day. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. I love it. That, that, and that's, I was actually going to, yeah, you took my uh, moment. <laughs> I but read you your know note. Any, <laughs> any moment like that, for me, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll jump to the women of Samaria. I mean, I think all of us have been ostracized. All of us have mm -hmm. felt less than. We all mm -hmm. um, have a, um, a little bit of scarring and, and smearing of our character that's happened. And I love that Jesus comes to us. He always comes to us in the midst of it. Mm -hmm. fully messy, fully dirty, in the act of the thing, mm -hmm. and he loves us anyway. Mm -hmm. He forgives mm -hmm. us anyway. And then he cleans us up and makes our life better. And I think what, what hits me hard is just this unconditional love. Like there is nothing that you and I, you know, mm -hmm. Mark, Kevin, uh, Melinda, Kim, now mm -hmm. to say all the names, that we could do right yeah. now yeah. anymore. There's nothing we can figure out that would make him love us anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And even in the midst of our mess, that love doesn't diminish, which is so unlike us. Yeah. Because yeah. we have expectations. Like, you know, totally you let me you, down, yeah. and you yeah. hurt exactly. me, and, yeah. and it's all measured by that. Yeah. So oh, unhuman. Good. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It really yeah, yeah. is. It's amazing. I mean, I, yeah. I think I'm of so it. Glad. One yeah. of the things that I love about Jesus is he always called out the religious people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, oh. I mean, this is a big thing, because they were about rules and regulations and what are the yeses and the nos, and this mm -hmm. is how you are to live. And Jesus messed it all up. He's like, I'll work on the Sabbath and I'll hang out with the lepers and the tax collectors mm -hmm. and the prostitutes yep. and all the people you don't want to because I came for them. And I'm about relationship, not yeah. religion or rules. I'm about loving and sitting with you and saying, I see you and I mm -hmm. know you and I love you and I forgive you, even if you reject me. Because we know a lot of people did reject him. Mm -hmm. and But yet he still came. And so for me, that was that's why I love him. You know, I was a messed up kid in my teen years and the prodigal you? daughter yes i was <laughs> and i and i always came back to that that mm -hmm. he loved me in my mess yeah. he loved me when i was running away from him i didn't want anything to do with him and finally found my way back yeah. and i think that was something i just love about him and the story of his life throughout the scripture and he loves us in not our mess and, and he loves us too. in our everything in our every day and i'm so such a simple girl but i love also when he does stuff like feed five thousand with couple loaves of bread and <laughs> some does. fish and goes, are you hungry? I'll yeah. feed you. Yeah. Are you feeling lonely? I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, uh, I see you. I would yeah. sometimes sit in a little tiny apartment with two little kids as a single mom and go like, you do, you're like, do you know where I live? Like, do you remember where I live? Mm -hmm. And then the Christmas, can I just tell you the Christmas that we came home from school and my daughter's running upstairs and I'm like, went right to the kitchen and my mom, my daughter's like, somebody broke into our house. And I'm like, what? Like, why? We have nothing. And she's like, someone broke into our house. And they left Christmas gifts under our tree. Oh, wow. And I came out of the kitchen and I, I look at the tree and it's full, full of Christmas gifts. And I had no money. I had nothing. Mm. I have these two little babies and I'm this single mama and it's full. And their names, Kai, Serena, Kim, our names are on all of wow. these gifts. Beautiful. He doesn't yeah. forget where we live no. and he no, sees he us in all of our moments. Yeah. And he feeds us and he's yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he's Amazing. He's, he's I love so it. Yeah, yeah, he is. Oh, he sees so us. I love so that he good. sees he us and knows us. us. Yes. And it's not about having it all figured out. No, no, never. It's about, thank <laughs> goodness. It's about trust. Yes. He just wants us to trust. Just, yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yes. I love your thoughts. And one of the things, especially for Christmas Day, I want to just get into a bit of a scripture verse that we can mm -hmm. kind of anchor in and remind our viewers and ourselves about, you know, his love for us. And so, Kim, I know that you're going to read. Uh, John 13, 34 mm -hmm. to 35, yes. and, and in the New Life Bible app that we love and that we yes. download. Um, and so if we can read that, that would be great. And then let's just discuss and see yeah, so our thoughts about that. Says, so now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. Mm. They will know us by our love. Mm. Yeah, I love right? I, I they will know us by our love. I thought it was our rule. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I've completely the messed rules, that yeah. up. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. 
or accomplished. Did I get oh, yeah. that wrong? Yes, yeah. yeah. But doesn't that seem simple? Yeah. Uh, my wife and I were doing a study uh, a few months ago. I started to read just the red letters. Mm -hmm. I hadn't done this since I was a kid. Yeah. I started reading the red letters and I, was, I started laughing. She goes, what are you doing? I said, I'm reading the red letters. And I realized, how wrong have we gotten this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How far off from they'll know we are Christians by our love have mm -hmm. we gotten? Yeah. Well, they were there already. I mean, you think who Jesus was talking to, yeah, right? right. Yeah. The law they had up to that point yes. was a list of do's and don'ts. And he was saying, of all these instructions mm -hmm. that I gave Moses that you have followed religiously, and some of you following right to the very mm -hmm. letter right. of the law, right. I'm, I'm giving you one law that trumps all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not going to be oh, by keeping yeah. one and ten. Boy, yeah. did they hate that. Yeah. Oh, they didn't want to hear that <laughs> because some of them were working really hard, hard. at keeping those yeah. laws. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And he said, it's love. Yeah. 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 Love, oversimplification. Yeah. But you know what? Isn't that really the way God kind of reaches into our world? It's like, yeah. let's uncomplicate your life. Yeah. Let's simplify things. I love you. Yeah. I created you. Mm. You're made for greater. You're made for yeah. greatness. Let me take you there. Yeah. And we're like, no, but we've got to fix this, and we've got to fix that, and we've got to sort this out and that out. <laughs> no. Just let me love you. Yeah. Uh, yes. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I, I have a grandbaby now. Yes, you did. This is the <laughs> second time now second. you mentioned it. Wow, I, I just I so don't yeah. normally mention it, but. <laughs> When she was born, mm. the love that we instantaneously had blew my mind. Mm, yeah. And I instantly go to God and I think, if I, as one of his creations, can mm -hmm. love that strongly, I'm starting to get this. Right. Yeah. I'm starting to understand. Mm -hmm. I mean, just a, even a slight bit of the amount of love he has for us. Amazing. Yeah. I love that. Thank you so much. Mm. I mean, I think always it's so important to bring in scripture, look mm -hmm. at the word of God, and and how that helps us and the yeah. promises of Him mm -hmm. in our everyday life and especially with love. So thanks for your thoughts. Mm -hmm. You know, to mark this fourth week of Advent, I'm going to now light the Advent candles. We have the Advent. Mm -hmm. I'm going to light all the candles because today we end with our love candle, the purple candle, and the actual Christ candle, the white candle in the middle. Mm -hmm. wow. And so, you know, the candles, we started with hope, then we went to peace, then we went to joy, and now we're doing love, the love mm -hmm. and light of the world coming today. And then we light the Christ candle to represent that He is born and He is yeah. with us mm -hmm. and so exciting. Now I'm going to say a prayer now as I light the candles. And now with a posture of love, we light this candle that we may be the light and love to the world. Mm. Oh come, oh come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. That mourns in lowly exile here until the Son of God appears. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to. Oh, Israel, oh, come thou day spring, come and cheer our spirits by thine advent here. Disperse the gloomy clouds of and death's dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to I will now light the Christ candle, declaring that Jesus is the light of the world, the light that drives out all the darkness, the light that shows us our way. And he is the light that brings the world hope, peace, joy, and love. And Joe, you'll pray. Say a prayer. Loving God, make room in our hearts for people who need us. We thank you for friends, and strangers who have received us 
when we were lonely, afraid, or tired. May we be ready to receive the love you offer us and have the courage to share that love with others through loving action. And we say, Amen. 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 Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, O oh, He. was born, O night divine, O night, O night divine, truly he taught us to love one another. His law is love, and his gospel is peace. Chains shall he break, for the slave is our brother, and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy, in grateful chorus raise we let all within us praise his holy name fall on your knees oh hear the angel voice was born, O oh, night divine, O oh, night, O oh, night divine, O oh, night divine. emotional. Wow. Kevin, Mark, thank you so much for being with us on this mm -hmm. special Christmas show. <laughs> Kimberly, Cheryl, to share this year together, a beautiful season to celebrate the love of Jesus coming to the world mm -hmm. to save us, to live and love and give us an example of how to do it well. Mm -hmm. So special. Thank you so much. And to our wonderful viewers, you, thank you for spending Christmas Day with us and for being a part of our day. Our prayer is that you would know him, learn about him, love him, and then follow him with all your heart. He will make a difference in your life. So Merry Christmas from all of us at See, Here Love. And don't forget, especially today, that you are seen, heard, and deeply, deeply loved by God. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Woo! Yes. <laughs> yeah.